Salawam. Salawam, Salawam, Salawam. Kwam Yasa Allah, Koholoyim, La Yahweh Basim Yahweh Sai. Bahashim, Rakaha Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akhwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Jacques Nanawa is coming at you with another quick, quick lesson, praying that this lesson is edifying by the Spirit. And um, just touching on um, this earthquake over in Turkey, hey, that's a part of the prophecies, the end days prophecies, um, and we'll get into that, but uh, that's what was playing in the background. And we can get it, because this is live right here. This is live. Let's let's play some of it. Okay, so basically what is what's um the title one it is um rescuer struggle to find the victims trapped under debris. So can you imagine being under under uh, under uh, uh three, four, five, six stories of some shit you threw, man? And that's all judgment from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And, and, and you know what? There are Israelites over in Turkey because the Israelites were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. So this is not like a, um, you know, a lot of these these people, they talk, oh, well, you know, it's just, you know, skin color, skin color, skin color. It's not about skin color. It's about DNA. It's about um, your family lineage. And if you come from Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, you are one of the children of Israel. It's not going to make no difference what you look like. Because we've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, you know, and a lot of people just don't get that. You got these Negro only um, Israelites. They just like, uh, well, everybody got to be black. No, it don't work like that, man. The Lord scattered us throughout the four corners of the earth. The men of Israel have have um, laid down with women of the other nations, sown seed with them. Those women have had those children and, and the children um, come out looking like the um, that that particular um, nation of people. But they're Israelites if they come from um, the, the father because the seed line goes through the father. He's the one that carries the, the seed line and is, you know, ball sack, so to speak. And um, so I'm pretty sure it's some Israelites <laughs> probably caught the demise over there through, um, with judgment. But, uh, you know, we just wanted to touch on this. Let me go back. Because this is a part of the end days prophecies that's going on. OK, so um, it was a 7.8. Let's see. Let's get the New York Post one or writers. Let's see what they talking about. I seen it um last night. Uh, but, you know, just by the spirit, just getting around and touching on it. OK, it says more than fifteen hundred people have been confirmed dead after a massive seven point eight magnitude earthquake rocked southeast Turkey and Syria early Monday. Leveling several buildings as people slept in their beds. The devastating toll has continued to rise as rescuers frantically search for survivors trapped under the rubble. And it's kind of funny that this is in Turkey because, you know, Turkey is kind of having, you know, they're holding up the Poland and um, Finland or is that Finnish or Finland, you know, being a part of NATO. They're they're You know, that's the reason, you know, they're the last hope because they're not voting for it to happen because they want, you know, um, you know. They're trying to get something out of the deal. And it's funny that it's in um, Turkey. And don't, hey, we don't put it past the so-called white man, not one iota that this man don't have um, um, the ability to, cre to create an earthquake. It, I think it was an earthquake in Iran. Don't think that this man don't have the, um, the ability to deal with the weather. Now, whether he's doing it or not, it's still all by the power and spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because the Lord is the one that deals with these kings, according to um, Proverbs 21 and 1. You know, he deals with the the um, the, the nation's um, leaders. He, he gives them the, the, the visions or the thoughts as to what to do because he's moving them around. Now, don't get me wrong. Like I said, again, I wouldn't put nothing past this man, the so-called white man, because he deals with the weather. This man can create snow. He can create rain. Don't think that this man doesn't have something that he can shake the earth and, and, and take down a building, man. You know, because it, it's kind of funny that it that it's in Turkey, man. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, let's let me let me pull up another tab real quick. And let me see, because uh, I think that earthquake was in Iran. Maybe I'm tripping. Let me see. Yep. Was it, it was Iran?
Yeah, this was January 28th. See? Iran State News Agency, IRNA, said the earthquake hit the city of Khoi, West Azerbaijan province in north northwest Iran. And mind you now, this was around the same time that um and that was a 6.3 magnitude. So, and mind you, this was around the same time, if I'm not mistaken, you know, somebody can, you know, correct me in the comment board. This is around the same time that, um, you know, uh, the little back and forth with Iran and um, Israel. You see? Let me see. Because um, this was January 28th. Let's put in this Iran. Let's see if we can get Iran and Israel. Put some numbers together real quick. Let's see. Iran and Israel war. Is what kind of popped up. Um, Iran blamed Israel. Now, this is February 2nd, right? Iran blamed Israel for a drone attack on a military factory near central city of Isfahan. Okay, but anyway, the, 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 the dates are kind of close, man. Iran accuses Israel of launching drone attack. That was four days ago. So, you know, this, you know, so you got that to go along with okay so if you're looking at february 4th and you got with this particular hookup right here it was january 29th they got an earthquake that kills three injures hundreds see so hey you never can tell because you know um hey uh israel and and, and, and america and nato and you know all the hey, they kind of go hand in hand man when it comes to who's running the earth who's ruling the earth that's why we always go off into um this Job 9 and 24. Don't think for one second this man don't have the technology to shake a portion of the earth, man. To 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 do a um, you know, I mean this man, hey, that's how you know this man is the the uh, uh his gift is the sword. This man got lasers. He, hey, this this man has um um sound machines where he can, you know, <laughs> you know, just basically send a seismic sound wave towards your ass man you don't even know you know and it just it's kind of like um nobody can hear it so so to speak but you they can you know um concentrate sound into one building and just have your ass just go fucking nuts man <laughs> hey this man got all kinds of stuff but we do know that this man is in control of um some some weather making machinery man and you can google that you can look it up man they're dealing with that weather, man. So, and you're not going to tell me that I don't put nothing past um, um, this so-called white man. Nothing at all. Because he has trillions of dollars to play with of taxpayers' money to just play with shit, man. And put together weapons, put together bioweapons, put together this, put together that. And, 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 and next thing you know, they're testing it. <laughs> Straight up, man. Okay, but it says, um, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? See, this man is all over the earth. Got you looking this way while he's doing something over this way. Got you looking this way while he's doing something over that way. That's how this man get down. He uses the media for his war. He uses propaganda. He, he, he'll put um, um, this this particular um, person against this particular person. He'll he'll push it. this. This man is the wicked that the Bible speaks of, man. This man is in control of all this shit. Trust me. But anyway, let's go back. Cause that was that was pretty much about it. That, that was just by the spirit, I kind of thought of that. You know what? You know with the Iran thing. You know. But let's go into the scriptures on this right here too. The main main thing, because this is a part of those prophecies, man. This is a part of those end end time prophecies that's happening. Matthew twenty four. Let's start at verse three. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? And Yahweh answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am a Mashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars, rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for, the, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. See that 
earthquakes in diverse places, man. And and um, Turkey had an earthquake. I'm trying to think what year that was. It was years back, but it killed 17,000 17, people. Almost, I think, maybe 20,000 people died. See? But see, we're in the last days where these things are starting to really just jump out at you, man. You can see prophecy in the news now. Prophecy on, the, on, on you know, on your TV. Prophecy as you held. You can see prophecy just riding down the street <laughs> with, with people, man. But let's go into the Apocrypha real quick. Let's go into here real quick. Second address. Uh, let me see. We already in. Yeah, let's go back to chapter nine here. Second address nine and one. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, see, and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were from the beginning, that were before thee, even from the beginning. So these prophecies are coming to pass. These things are happening, man. You're 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 at the the the, the you know we're in the last hour of the last hour, man. We this thing is down to the minutes, man. See what I'm saying? That's why why we do these lessons because he said measure thou the time diligently. That's why the scripture says to watch and pray. You're supposed to be constantly um, praying. You're supposed to be constantly watching to, to, to see the, the prophecies come to pass, man. That's our job is watchmen. When we see little things like this, because people might be like, oh, well, earthquakes have always been happening. All right. Well, and you take it for the way you take it the way that you want to take it. We looking at it as end days prophecies that go along with everything else that's going on out here. This is um, Ecclesiasticus uh, 5 and 15. And it reads, be not ignorant of anything in a, in a great matter or a small. See, we're supposed to look at these things and be like, aha, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The Lord is working a work and we seeing it. And it's a beautiful thing, man. I wouldn't want that foreknowledge to be taken away from me, man. All praises to you. How about Shimmy? I was shy where I just go back into the world and I'm just lax. I'm not looking for nothing. I'm just out here. Just whatever. The hell out of here, man. We trying to make that shit, man. We're praying to Yahweh about Shimei Abishai that he will have mercy on us as a nation of people, you know, or, you know, we're praying that we're part of the hopeful elect, so to speak. But let's get, um, let's get this Ephesians real quick. I don't want to keep this long, but hey, we have to, like I said again, we have to keep up with stuff like this. Because that's a beautiful thing, man. You got a death toll of 3,000 so far and they still trying to find people. So you know that death toll is going to rise. You see? Okay, this is um, Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. See, we're supposed to be looking around, constantly looking, constantly on watch. Because we're at, we're, hey, look, we're in, war, we're in war, man. When you come into this troop, you have, you have signed up for straight war. And as soon as you sign the paperwork, basically, you're in it, man. Soon as you come to this troop and you start to call on Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, hey, it, it, you're, hey, you're in this war. Matter of fact, you're in a war regardless to whether you even do that. Our people are walking around in a war, don't even know it, and, and the sniper is just out here just hitting their asses, just knocking them down. They don't even know they're in the war. They're just out here just walking around, guns around, firing off around them. Grenades and shit going on. <laughs> you name it, man. Tanks, you know, just in a spiritual war and don't even know it, man. And all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, for, the, for him waking us up and showing us these things, man. So I'm going to end out there. I just wanted to just touch on this. Like I said, hey, we have to touch on this every time we see stuff like this. Because you don't really see a lot of um, lessons come out on earthquakes unless they're earthquakes where a lot of people are dying, so to speak. You know, I try and I try and get into them, you know, whether they're small or great, you know, so to speak. So let me just go ahead and um, end out here. Um, so with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.